here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Showers and drizzle here greeting us on this Monday morning. It's overcast, definitely going to be gloomy throughout the day today. We look at our conditions in East Providence, North Situate. You can see a couple of raindrops here falling. Our roadways are damp, but we made it through the morning commute without any significant travel issues, which is good here in southern New England. We've been watching those temperatures and traveling to the north, and you can still see in Worcester there are temperatures that are at and below freezing. So more of a concern there as the rest of the morning goes on for some ice spots, but we're in the 40s across eastern Massachusetts in the 30s here for most of Rhode Island up a degree in Smithfield at 34 right now, but it feels like 23. Those winds are going to add to that chilly field today. They're gusting almost to 30 miles per hour in Providence and the winds off the shoreline Block Island, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket gusting over 30 miles per hour at times. At the highest, we're looking at a few wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour under these wind advisories area wind advisory areas here just the Cape and the islands and that's in effect until uh, five o'clock this evening. We also have a coastal flood advisory for the eastern Massachusetts shoreline small window right around high tide between two and five o'clock this afternoon and early evening for a little splash over flooding there. It's all being caused by this area of low pressure. Now latest computer model information has this nudge just a little bit further to the east which should keep the heaviest of the rain offshore and just some scattered showers in our area with steadiest over eastern mass a secondary a system going to come across the area tonight into early tomorrow morning. So we'll keep some showers in the forecast over the next 24 hours and we'll time this all out for you here as we finish out the morning looking at most of the rainfall again over eastern Massachusetts, especially Cape Cod to Plymouth where the highest rainfall totals will be in Rhode Island's often on lighter showers and drizzle that will continue into the afternoon and early evening hours. Five o'clock you can see here traveling home the temperatures of they're chilly, but they're above freezing, so not expecting any icy conditions for the evening commute. And we'll stay above freezing overnight tonight as our next batch of showers comes through early tomorrow morning. This is 6 a.m. They'll wind down before the morning commute is over and the rest of the day Tuesday looking a little drier and even with some peaks of sunshine trying to pop in to the area winds. Well, by lunchtime today, we're getting wind gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour. Most spots with the strongest winds as I mentioned offshore five o'clock in the evening, a few gusts to 50 possible over the Cape and islands winds after that will start to diminish and they'll continue to do so during the nighttime hours as that low pressure offshore moves further away in our seven day forecast. We'll go from 40 today is staying above freezing overnight tonight between 35 and 40 degrees tomorrow as we inject in some sunshine. The temperatures will climb to the upper 40s. Normal high is 52. Not many days where we reach even that normal high. There's an exception to that. Friday right now looks like the mildest day of the week, but it does come with another chance for some showers. Even on Wednesday could see a couple of showers or drizzle. The weekend right now looking 50-50 with dry and chilly conditions Saturday and a chance of a few showers on Sunday. Okay,